everyone welcome back to my channel so for today's video I am going to do a little bit of a haul um, I'm going to show you all the makeup that I have been buying recently right, so here's my hair I don't know what's going on here but I quickly if you want to see this makeup look except with a different lipstick I and my next video is going to be a prom makeup tutorial which I show you this makeup look which is just really pretty and I really like it so yeah stay tuned for that make sure to subscribe so you don't miss and yeah let's just get straight into it so the first thing I'm going to show you is this Urban Decay Optical Illusion Primer. So it's a complexion primer, smoothing, it's got rose hip and argan oil and it's pore perfecting. So yeah, I really really like this primer, it's one of the new Urban Decay ones. Um, it's sort of got like a pinkish, whitish tint to it so I tend to not use a lot of it. Again, I use this in my next tutorial if you want to see it in action but um, yeah, it's like one of those like really thick primers that you just sort of put in um, your pore areas to make your pores look smaller. But um, yeah, I've been really liking it and it's got one of those sort of um, tubes that pushes it, pushes the product up rather than having like something that goes down to the bottom so you're going to make sure that you get use out of every single bit of this which I think it was a little bit more expensive but um, it's quite a big tube of primer for how much you're going to use. I use like half a pump per time I do my makeup and yeah I think that is good and I really like the way it smooths out my skin. So the next thing I'm going to show you is a collection that I bought so this is from QVC it's the Tarte Man Eater Must Haves as you can see and it comes in a box this box all the packaging has this sort of like purple golden black leopard print and you get two brushes in that I think it was 46 pounds or 40 pounds and you got it on for easy payment so it's like a tenner a month or something so I really really like that and I think it's good for your money for what you get so you get this big kabuki brush which you can use for your foundation. It is big and I've used you get that brush and you do get another brush. You get this eyeshadow brush. So one side's got a sort of like packing flat side and the other. Um, you also get the Tarte Amazonian Clay Foundation. This is a full size as well. So I got the shade Light Sand and you can see the colour. I think that's the actual colour of the foundation in the little leaf. So it matches me when I've got fake tan on. It's a little bit too dark for when I've not got fake tan on. And it's also like a moussey formula. So if you like thick full coverage foundations in that you'll probably like that. You also get one of their Tarte Lip Sculptor Lipstick and Lip Glosses. It comes like this. The lipstick is, I don't know if I would wear this colour. It's like a sort of dark rosy pink. You can see it there. It is nice. And it's a really nice formula as well. It's really nice and creamy. And then you get the lipstick on the lip gloss on the other side. So this would be great for travelling or for like on the go because you get your lipstick and your lip gloss in one thing. So that is what the lip gloss looks like. It's a really pretty like peachy browny colour. Yeah, I really really like these and I think that it's a good this is also a full size. Then another thing that you get is the Man Eater Man Eater Self Sharpening Eyeliner. So that's what the packaging looks like. I love the packaging and it's it's just obviously like one of those ones that you twist and it sharpens itself and it's just a plain black eyeliner. A full size again. And you also get the Tarte Man Eater Mascara. Looks like this. That is what the brush looks like there. Again, that is a full size, so you're really getting so much things for your money. And then my favourite from the collection is the Man Eater palette. So this is what that looks like. Like, obviously, if you love warm tones, like, this is your palette. Like, are you joking? Yeah, they're all so pigmented and they're so amazing. And yeah, it's another, like, the full size palette from the Man Eater collection. So you're getting five full size products and two brushes for about £40 which honestly I don't think you can. The next thing that I bought is the MAC blush in the shade Peaches. I know I've used this in tutorials but this is what it looks like. I got this from um, the, there's a makeup shop in Livingston that does like discounted makeup and they had these for cheaper so I've just popped it in this little Z palette with my like banana powder and my highlighting powder 
So yeah, it just fits in there nicely and I think that was relatively cheap. I think they're normally like £16 or something, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think I got it for like 11 or 9 The next one is something I've already used in my tutorials before and I've just repurchased. So this is our Ultra HD Make It Forever Foundation. I got mine in the shade Y245 and that matches me when I've got fake tan on. I use the Bondi Sands Tan in Dark or Ultra Dark by the way, just for reference if you're wondering to get what colour. Um, yeah, this is just an amazing foundation to be honest. It's really good for um, like videos or photographs or you're going to need to get in your photo taken. It's like a medium coverage. I'd yeah, I just love this foundation, especially with the prom season coming up and if you're getting married and stuff, I'd really recommend this because it's going to give you coverage, it's going to even out your skin tone and it's also going to look really, really good in your pictures. So I would really, really recommend this if you're looking for a new foundation and you like to take pictures. The next thing I have bought is also being used and as you can see and the little labels came off but this is the Maybelline Age Rewind in the shade Neutralizer so we have just gotten the new colours in the UK we came out with a pinky one which is the brightener and this one which is a neutralizer so this is just like a sort of light yellowy colour I'll try and show you more so yeah it's just like a light sort of neutral yellow colour and obviously it's just to use to cancel out dark circles but I just prefer this to the shade light. I think it's, it is lighter than the shade light and that's really all I use it for. I don't really see a difference with neutralising my dark circles or anything if that's what you're looking for it for but um, yeah I just like the colour of it and I like the formula of this concealer. So if you like that and you need a shade lighter because light honestly isn't that light. <laughs> say light more. Yeah, light isn't that light a colour. If you're pale like me, I've got fake tan on just now so you can't really tell but if you're a pasty bitch like me, you need a lighter concealer and this one will do the trick, I think. I really like it. The next thing I bought, I used in my next, in this makeup coming up um, later on in the week. And honestly, I think it's my new favourite friend, my new favourite mascara. I've got the Man Eater one that I need to try out and I've also got the um, Benefit They Are Real that I need to use but I've just like not been able to put this down. So this is the Maybelline Colossal Big Shot Mascara and this is the waterproof one which is I think why I like it so much. So my eyelashes are naturally like really really straight and I need to curl them quite a lot to get a curl in them and normally during the day they'll fall quite a lot but I've noticed like with this mascara it makes them really, it makes them more, I don't know how to explain it, it makes them look thicker, it's a really nice colour and it just holds the curl all day and it just makes my eyelashes look amazing, like especially I think I like the fact that it holds the curl so if you struggle with that, if you have really straight eyelashes and you need something to help with a little bit of curl and a little bit of oomph then I'd really give this a shot and it's relatively cheap as well. I got this from Superdrug um, along with the Adri Wine Concealer because they had a 2 for 10 on in Superdrug and literally the concealer was about £9 and so was this. But then I ended up getting them both for a tenner so honestly if, if there's deals like that on I'd really recommend picking this up and giving it a shot if you need help with holding a curl on your eyelashes. I would definitely recommend the waterproof one because it's also really good on your bottom eyelashes and also it's not going to transfer anywhere if it's waterproof. I, love, I always get waterproof mascaras if I can because I just like them a lot better. I feel like they hold the curl a lot more. Okay, so the last like makeup item I've got to talk about is this Violet Voss Holy Grail Eyeshadow Palette. And this is what it looks like. So it's got all these colours in here. Um, as you can see the colours are really really pretty and there's a lot of like warm tones. You've got like mattes and shimmers and these like foiled eyeshadows which are like crazy pigmented. So they're just like really pretty if you like a foiled look and they've also got like the nice reds and this colour cranberry splash is really pretty and then you've got like wine and dine if you like those red tones which is amazing because I love those so yeah I'd really recommend this palette if you get your chance if you get a chance to get a hat your hands on it because I know it's always sold out so the last thing I've got to talk about has nothing to do with makeup but I just wanted to show you I got the Key and Desi Perkins high key sunglasses and I've been wanting like I've got loads of different sunglasses from Key if you want me to do like a collection video I can totally do that because I've got quite a few but um, I never had any like sort of just plain black sunglasses this is going to blind you with this ring light but so that is what they look like they're just like oversized black aviators may have some like finger marks on them but yeah, I just think these look so cool and I will be wearing these like all summer 
because they're just like really nice and big and they cover your whole face and yeah if you're looking for just like cool sunglasses then I feel like these are the ones for you. You can get them in loads of different colours as well. I don't know, there's a Key Australia website in the UK now as well. I got them from keyaustralia.co.uk which means you don't have to pay for like shipping or customs so and they come in this like really nice like pleather case. So yeah. I picked up these as well and I love them. So yeah that's everything I've been buying recently. If you want me to do more of these sort of videos or if you want me to do like a makeup collection video um, leave me a comment down below let me know or give this video a thumbs up and um, I also wanted to do like a decluttering video because my makeup box is a joke and I need to clean it out so badly so if you want to see that then make sure you give the video a thumbs up and that will let me know. Um, yeah so that is it for this video don't forget to subscribe my face will be in a little circle around about here and you can just click on that and that will be you subscribed and if you want to watch any more of my videos just click on one of the ones over here and yeah don't forget to give the video a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below. Remember to stay tuned if you want to see this makeup it's coming up later in the week and yeah thank you so so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.